Welcome back. Today I'm on Windows 10 and I want to look at the built-in speech recognition. I want to see how good it is. So it's important you set it up correctly, otherwise it just won't be adequate enough. So before we start, make sure you've got a headset. I mean, you don't have to use a headset, but I do recommend it, maybe a USB universal seal bus, because it's so much more accurate. Because they've got noise cancel in the microphone as well. In the box here, let's go to control panel first and select control panel. I want to come down here and select speech recognition and do a left click. Now first thing we need to do, we don't want to go straight into it and start it, we need to set it up. So first thing select set up microphone, then choose which microphone you're using. As I said earlier I do recommend a USB, Logitechs are pretty good. Now select next once you've done your choice, it tells you how to position the microphone and select it again now I need to read into there so it can check the volume on the microphone. Peter dictates to his computer, he prefers it to type in and particularly prefers it to pen and paper. And I select next, then I select finish, it means it's all set up. So you've set up the microphone, well that's good. But one thing you must do, really important, is select train your computer to understand you better. Now I just tried it a second ago, I didn't use that option and I thought the dictation was atrocious. It might be better for you. There's nothing wrong with my headset because I use Dragon Professional Individual and it works perfect. So I'm not going to go through the whole lot with this view because it lasts about 6-7 minutes but I'll show you how to start it and I'll show you at the end so you get an idea. So I'm going to select Train Your Computer to Understand You Better. Now this gives you a number of different texts to read so it won't be the same each time. Now I recommend doing this as boring as it might sound at least two or three times to start off with and that will make a dramatic difference in your dictation. Select next, and I'm going to start. I am now speaking to my computer. The computer is hearing the sound of my voice as I speak. This will help the computer recognize what I say better. Speech recognition can be recognized many speakers very accurately. But training the computer will provide an even better experience. There will be fewer mistakes when dictating. Just say switch application. You can then choose the one you want from the list on the screen. This concludes the tips for speech recognition training session. To read about more tips, look in the help documentation for speech. And there you go, it's done. Now I recommend doing more training, maybe two or three times, because it does make a big difference on the accuracy. Now bear in mind as well, if there's any words it still gets wrong, you can use the correct command, which I'll show you quickly. I won't go with complete detail in it, I'll just click cancel here. Come up the top here. If you select open speech reference card, you've got loads, hundreds of commands there that you can use with this. So it's definitely worth printing that out and keeping that next to you. So I'm going to close that. So now we've done the microphone set up and we've done maybe training two or three times. Now we're ready to go. So now I can select Start Speech Recognition. Make sure your headset's in. And I'm going to click on it and it comes up. You can open that anyway by using the Windows key followed by H. Let's close that window. So I need to turn the mic on. And we can turn it on by saying Start Listening. Start Listening. Open Word. Blank Document. I am now going to test to see if the recognition is any good. Full stop. New line. I need to show you also how to correct a word that's been recognised incorrectly. Comma. I might have to add one manually just to show you that option. Full stop. New line. Stop listening and that would turn the mic off. Now let me have a look, so that's pretty accurate isn't it? Just remember though, you've got a new option in Word if you've got the 2016. If you come up to the option at the top here and select Review, you've now got Read Aloud option. So click on it and on the right you can play it back. So if I click the cursor at the beginning and select Play, and it will then read it back for you. Just a little tip there for you if you need to use that. So I'm going to actually create an error to show you. So here I've got, I might have to add one manually just to show you the option. 
say I did dictate might, but say it come up with accidentally night. I don't think it would do that because what, how speech recognition works is it works from what words go next to one another more likely within a sentence. So it wouldn't actually bring that because that, that makes no grammar sense at all. But I just want to show you how this works. So I need to correct that word from night to the one that I want in there, which is might. This is how we do it. Start listening. Correct night. Might. One. OK. Stop listening. Now that's quite simple. So you see, I didn't have the word I want, so you say the word you want again, it comes up in the list, you say one followed by OK to do the correction. Now I'm going to go back again. I'm going to put night in again. Say that didn't actually come up when I said might and it wouldn't show it. What do you do? Let me show you. Start listening. Correct night. Spell it. M. Spell it again. M for man. I. G. H. T. OK. Stop listening. Pretty simple. So I do recommend doing the reading at the beginning and then correcting it properly. If you don't want to correct a word, you don't say correct, you say select. Start listening. Select might. Night. Two. OK. Stop listening. Stop listening. And that will just correct it. It doesn't make it learn the word. It just corrects it there on the fly. So bear that in mind. Another option is we've got two words there, show twice, can you see that? What happens when I select a word? How does this dictation know which word to select? I'll show you. Start listening. Select show. Two, OK. Stop listening. Stop listening. So again, you say select the word you want, and it comes up with the numbers. And you can just say two, because I wanted the second one, and OK, and it highlights it for you. The dictation looks OK, but how about navigating without using the mouse? Start listening. Insert. Design. Review. Check document. Stop listening. That works quite well. What about punctuation? I haven't tried that yet, have I? So we'll give that a go. Start listening. New paragraph. Question mark. Exclamation mark. Open quote. Close quote. What can I say? Stop listening. And here you go. This will give you certain commands what you can use on the fly as well. I will do a follow up video on this on how to dictate, use the formatting options, but that should be enough just to get you up and running. Thanks for watching.